Hi, my name is Trevor McFadden, and today I'm going to be talking about ministry, and I will be talking about the topic of ministry, as well as dissecting a particular passage that came to mind when I encountered the topic of ministry. So, I'm going to get started by reading a passage out of the book of Matthew. It's going to be Matthew chapter 11. And the verses I'm going to read, to give context and clarity, are 25 to 30. So this is Matthew 11, 25 to 30. And this is Jesus speaking. At this, that time, Jesus declared, I, gave, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone who comes to the Son, anyone whom the Son chooses to reveal them. Come to me, all who labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy, my burden is light. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. Jesus describes his burden as easy, and his yoke is light. And that contrasts with today's society. See, in today's society, we have burdens that are hard and difficult and cumbersome to carry. Well, Jesus offers a way out in this passage, and even now. In how this relates to ministry, we are giving people that opportunity as a way out through acts of service, through acts of love, and even obedience on our part. When we serve, it's not out of being self-righteous or being just simply a good man or woman. It's about pointing people towards that transformational love and that transformational aspect of Jesus that we don't have to have these burdens on us anymore. See, my mind goes back to The Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. Uh, it was not too long ago that I both watched a... I watched and read a book about The Pilgrim's Progress. I watched a little animated... Uh, movie about the Pilgrim's Progress and it illustrates the main character Christian who is has this weight on him after he reads the Bible he has this weight on him, this unbearable weight and it's almost like he can't take it off. In fact, he cannot take it off until he gets to the cross. And I remember in both the, the movie I watched and the uh, book I read, um, or rather listened to, um, that I was moved. I was moved by that. And I realized that this same particular truth can be very much applied to ministry in that that is our job. See, in the world of ministry, our job is not to merely serve, but to serve with a purpose in mind that we are called by God to go help people understand and make disciples of, but ultimately understand that there's another way out. Society likes to put burdens on people. I mean, there's the burden of, uh, you know, just financial burdens. And then you have the gadgets that are revealed. And then you have the, the burdens of um, just popular culture overall. Um, the immorality of society. You have a lot of problems that are going on. And a lot of burdens that are being put on people. Um, especially more than 
more more like now even nowadays there's a lot more burdens are placed on people and people feel trapped and they have nowhere to turn I mean for all intents and purposes the uh, lovely uh, governor of this state wants to keep people in quarantine and keep them trapped and isolated people that do not know Christ yet or don't really have a good understanding of Christ don't have anywhere to turn but the church especially ministries they have a, a job to do in which they are now going out and being the hands and feet of Christ to better under better get people to understand that there is another way out that they don't have to carry the burdens anymore they don't have to carry the weight of their past mistakes or missteps or misdirections see in the, in the context of this of what Jesus was talking about we see that uh, beforehand he lists out unrepentant cities Chorazin, Bethsaida, um, Capernaum. He lists out very wicked cities. And then he goes on to give himself, or rather give other people, the chance to come to him. It's interesting um, to note this. It's this contrast of, of like this contrast of tone almost and to see that just like he wanted people to repent back then he also wants people to to go to him and come to him with their burdens now and so our job in ministry is to be that place where people can lay their burdens down and talk with God, talk with Christ. In ministry it is difficult sometimes to keep focus of that but when you're especially when you're doing all the hard work I know that for a fact um, it's hard to keep focused the fact that you're here to help people understand that they do not need to carry the burdens of the past. It's difficult because then there's the work that needs to get done. Like, for instance, I remember my days of serving at San Francisco City Impact. And I worked um, in the food bank part, the rescue mission part. It was always rush, 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 rush. Like, you had to get things done. Um, sometimes you'd be, losing sight, you'd be losing sight of that. Like, you'd be losing sight of the, the goal in mind. Or when the goal was in mind. And it's easy to lose sight of that. But ministry is not simply tasks or things to do to better the sight. It's about giving people the, a way out. Um, what does that look like? Well, there's different ministries suited for different purposes. There's different ministries for different people. Some people might struggle with drugs or alcohol or sex or pornography or drugs again or homelessness there's different ministries that are better suited for those purposes to help people understand that there's a way out and that is what ministry is um, to wrap things up I think it's best to um, it's best to know that people have a way out and that we the ministry are supposed to be we the ministry and the church are supposed to be the way out for people so I thank you for taking this time thank you for taking the time and effort to uh, listen and watch um, let me pray us out and then I will wrap up Father God thank you so much for everything you've done uh, I pray Father that you would help us to show people be the hands and feet to people that are hurting and to show them that there is another way out god that they do not have to be trapped by the bondages by their uh burdens god that they can carry it all to you god so god i pray all this in your name amen